How's it going, bandits? Hope you all are doing well and had a great Thursday in the market. I had an interesting day today. I only had roughly 15 minutes to trade before I had to go. So if you only have 15 minutes and you know what you're looking for, can you make a living? Can you hit something out of the gate really fast and be done? Let's find out. Let's see how we did today. So at the gate, as we know from other, other videos, I post a list in the morning of things I'm looking for. Today, <clears throat> we had a couple names. First two was Tesla and NVIDIA. We're gonna cover NVIDIA first because uh, well, I took both of them, both of them worked. Um, short, sweet, and simple. If you snap yesterday's low, look for uh, 414.50. If we bounce, look for 432. Simple as that, I can't lay it out any Simpler than that, um, if you're looking for a setup. So in the first one minute or so, so yesterday's low, Friday's low, or not Friday, sorry, Wednesday's low, <coughs> right there. We are opening at the low. I personally did not short this to the downside. It was a good trade for a scalp. I know um, somebody in our room, ah, let me jump back over, sorry. So there's the low uh, from Friday. You can see it highlighted right here. Um, at the open, now this was in the first one minute, I just jumped to a one minute chart. So literally at the open, we broke below it. If you had a buy set, uh, you know, um, if you were shorting right here, you would have been sleeping up about two points. I did not uh, take this short. I know some people in our room did. Uh, some broke even, some might have made, I don't know. Um, it's not one that I took that quickly out of the gate. Sometimes I do. Be that as it may, uh, let the trade develop instead of, um, Instead of actually following through, you did a quick dip, hammer, uh, hammered out, and just exploded right through the top. I was looking at a few different names and missed this hammer forming and didn't catch it until about 24.50 or so, um, where I ended up getting in it. I took a position here at the two minute break. Let's jump to the two minute chart. So I took a starter position at the two minute break and then added to the position on this pullback when it held. So I had about a 24, uh, about a 25, 20 uh, average in the name. And I kept saying on the mic, hey, I'm holding this, I'm holding this, I'm staying in it, I'm staying in it, I'm staying in it. And within 15 minutes, we hit beyond target actually. I got out at 32 because that was the idea. But uh, 25 to 32 is seven points. Now, whether you're trading options or whether you're trading common, if you know what you're looking for, you have a plan, you pick the right name, you see the setup, i.e. a break through a level and it doesn't hold and you reverse really quick, you just take that puppy long. The earlier you got in it, the better. It not only hit target, it blew right through it. <clears throat> I had to go. Like I said, at 945, I pushed this just a little bit into uh, 946. I actually started selling beforehand and then uh, held a little bit of a runner and uh, you know made out pretty good on that trade. So can you make money in 15 minutes? Yes, if you have a plan, if you know what you're looking for, and then if the market gives it to you. Today, it worked absolutely perfectly. Hammered through a level, beautiful. The other name we traded this morning, traded two of them. <clears throat> Tesla, two minute, where are we opening up? Two minute 200. What did I say my plan was for Tesla? Trade plan for Tesla already popping in the pre-market. Let's see if we can hold 245 and push into 251 early, then 254 to 255 area. If we can't break out early and we fail 246, look for yesterday's double bottom test to see if that breaks, you could see 236. So two ideas, what we're looking for, look where we're opening up. My favorite, ah, jump back over. Look at where we're holding up, my favorite spot. Two minute, um, 200, directly on it. That brought this to my attention. I took this two minute breakout and uh, yeah, I mean, look where we were at at 45 when I had to go. So I ended up selling this. We did uh, go up to Target at 251. Uh, I, again, had to get out of the name I got out on this candle. I would have re-entered or traded more here uh, through the top. It was a beautiful setup. Continued to go into 251, but I couldn't hold it because I had, I had to go. Uh, the reason for this trade was the exact same as NVIDIA. You were gapped down. We had data this morning or sorry, um, you had a triple bottom roughly here. And if you zoom out, you can see, uh, we basically you have a spring off of that as you come down into it is a lower, low, lower, low, lower, low. 
but then you're either going to fell out the open, you're going to come in and test it, or this just is going to be the spring back in the 251, which is the top of this, which is exactly what we did. So you did not continue to push through. I wasn't here to trade this. I probably wouldn't have done anything through here. If the market was ripping, you probably would have went to that, uh, to this area. Uh, instead, I just took this one. Uh, worked out beautifully. Uh, I did not catch the whole move because I wasn't here. But remember, can I make a living in 15 minutes? Yes. If you know what you're looking for, if you have a plan, and that if the market cooperates every day, no, you can't. But when you open up on multiple moving averages on a day when there's news that's going to move the market that the market's been waiting for, at least early it's going to move the market, you opened up about the 5 minute 21, 15 minute 21, 2 minute 200, all those things lined up. Beautiful inside two minute bar, green takes red strategies I've talked about before on this channel. You take it out, that is a, I mean, just from the breakout at 46, if you held it to 41, like the level I call it was, what, 46 to 41, what, like five something points, depending on where you got in it at, five to six points. Um, beautiful. First two minute pullback, red bar, take it again. Um, fib. Fib the first move before after the after that red bar. 127, 161. Plenty of ways to enter this, plenty of ways to take that trade. You just need a plan. You need a plan, you need to stop. I think I took an initial actually I took an initial loss on this one because I front ran it. Uh, I actually front ran this one. So for those of you who watched, I actually took a loss and re-entered this one. I entered um, on the one minute break and I had too tight of a stop. And on this candle I just had a really tight stop about where I entered, so it was like a, a very small kind of loss instead of taking the breakout. Um, and then I just got back in it as it popped. So wasn't the best, or uh, you know, could have had a wider stop. It wasn't the best strategy there. I played a little bit too tight, realized what I did, got back in the trade. We all make mistakes. Um, that's that. Uh, I could talk about the other names, but uh, if you want to go back and look at them, compare how I did. You can do that. Again, I want to keep these as short as possible just as a quick trade review on how these go and what you can be looking for. What did you guys do today? Uh, what was your plan before coming in? What levels were you looking at to trade? Did you see what I saw on Tesla, NVIDIA? Did you take it? Yes, no, why not? You know, is there something that you know could have convinced you more? I'd love to hear about it. Drop it in the comment or come chat with me in Discord. If you, uh, you, know, if you want to talk more about it, hit me up over there. Uh, I would love to hear from you and I'd love to hear uh, what's what's holding you back or what worked, what didn't work for you today. So it was an interesting day. It was good. Let's see. Oh, those were the only two I traded. I knew I didn't have long. I didn't go crazy heavy in them. Meta, go 7, 3, 10, did we? Uh, the meta trade looks like it did. It actually kind of, yeah, it did about what I thought uh, on the breakout. You opened up near the 2 minute 200 again, so this one worked. I said it was going to come up to... 310 to 311 and then roll over if the market's weak. It actually did that perfectly. 310, 311 actually went above it to 312, rolled over, came all the way back down for an all day fader into, uh, for an all day fader. I didn't give a target on the downside, but just fade back to the gap. Um, that worked. Uh, Netflix, didn't look at this one. Just taking a look quickly. Uh, same thing, two minute 200. If you can hold 435, so this one I had too wide of a target. I said you needed to, maybe the pre-market was higher, or maybe I meant 25. I think I meant 25 and I typed 35. I probably did, either way. Notes don't make great sense on that. It was you need to take out and hold 35, and if the market's strong, you'll see higher. Not the best notes on Netflix. Uh, definitely did not uh, deliver on that one if you guys were trading that one. it. Uh, Technically wasn't wrong, but uh, for some reason my levels were off in this one, or I typed the wrong numbers. I'm not positive, but I was typing numbers that are way up here, which doesn't even make sense because we obviously opened up here. So I think I was just typing twos when I meant to type threes, and uh, threes when I meant to type four. And if that's the case, then I did decent. This is an interesting one to watch for later. Just throwing this up to look at it. Um, you talk about uh, meta. <coughs> And putting in a range, look at what we're doing here in Netflix. I need to see where the volume's at. I need to do a little bit more on this one to see where I want the first point, where I want the different levels to be at. So that's the breakout. 
you tip through it, that worked perfectly. And I would say this for sure. So you check, you check this out and I can widen it up a little bit. Um, but roughly this is your, so what you're looking at here. Netflix could be fun tomorrow. Netflix could be fun next week. You're really getting for this name tight and you're kind of building a cause, um, which could get you a move into 412 if we break down. Let's see. So this is just, this is part of what I did in Meta. And I'm just going to take a look at it really quick for those of you who hung out this long. If you did hang out this long and you like this content, I would really appreciate it. If you dropped a like, if you shared it, if you subscribed, I'm going to try to do some more for short form stuff here. And so I can be consistent with uploading. I'm just going to record it and post it. And then I will do less common um, evening shows. But I think this is going to be the format for a little bit. Um, shows that are recorded so I can make sure that stuff is uploaded and people can watch it. And then uh, I'll bring other traders on as I can. And we'll do things that are more... Uh, We'll do things that are more talking that are meant to be a little bit longer form. So that's what I'm going to look to do. That's going to kind of be my attempt. Here's roughly how I would draw this, give or take a little bit. I think you have room to 411, 412 uh, before long if you break down. And if you flip that to the long side, depending on where we break out at, um, it just depends. You would need to go and what this looks like. But we could see a move in either direction uh, here. This is a nice rejection. So I don't know. There's a, we'll have to see. I, I'm gonna like Netflix into next week if it doesn't do anything tomorrow. You're getting really tight and the moving averages haven't been this tight for this long in, since here, since September and October. And this was a while that it was this tight. So this doesn't mean anything's necessarily gonna happen. Yeah, we could continue a lot longer in this range, so don't push it. We've gone below and higher, so you've got kind of two ranges here that we're just building between. I'm going to wait um, to kind of see what sets up here, but I'm definitely watching Netflix. It's definitely an interesting one. So that's what I've got. I'm going to continue to kind of do this stuff, post it, upload stuff. If you like it, see it coming, watch it, share it. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, cheers, guys. Have a great evening, and I will see you all tomorrow in either the T3 room or in the News Bandits Discord or News Bandits Market Bandits Discord. Appreciate you guys and all your support for what we do here. Have a great evening.